All right, I decided to do something a little bit different for this week's video. This is gonna be more of an informational video just based on some old Sears catalogs that I have. At least just to show some of the older Sears stuff that they used to make. I have four catalogs here, 1968, 1974, 1981, and 1992. As well as I have a couple uh, manuals up there. And I got more older stuff, I got more old stuff than that, but just for these, just for this video, just to um, show the different models, at least for the green Sears machines. Anyway, we'll start with the oldest and work our way to the newest. And then out of the 68 catalog, this is the Sears Best. See, they had um, fiberglass doors and steel doors. But this is the Sears Best opener. And unfortunately, this is the only one that they show in this book. There isn't anything on the next page over. Obviously, there isn't anything on the previous page. Just to show that there is nothing more. This this one has the old school receiver and what receiver and remote. Sorry. Uh, some of these did have internal radios, like the Perma Power that I showed, which this is essentially the same thing. Um, these ones have that giant motor that sticks out the top of the unit. And yes, these are very heavy openers. These can do doors 18 feet wide up to 8 feet tall, 160 bucks, which, oh, you're with 160 bucks, that's not a lot of money today. 1968, that was a lot of money. These were a quarter horse, this was also a quarter horsepower machine. And honestly, I don't know what the, the 6.4 is. Because they were always 139.65. And then, and it's not the full model because there were variations. Oh yeah, shipping weight, 65 pounds. These things are heavy. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if the opener actually weighed more than that. Anyway, if anybody wants to pause that and read it, feel free. This does these these ones do have the thermal light delay in them. There you go. With some of the accessories. Let's see. Extra transmitter. And I guess just the replacement battery. Yeah, thirty-five cents for a battery. Can't. Can't complain about that price. I wish they, I wish stuff was this cheap today, and built with this amount of quality. Sadly, nothing is anymore. Oh, and it does take two light bulbs. All right, cool. All right, on to the seventy-four. And that's where the uh, those two come in. We'll go um, well, just keep going left to right, I guess. This is the 139.654000. I showed one of these openers. And this is what it would have come with when it was new. I, I have these radios somewhere. I just don't know where. Or I just don't feel like digging them out. This is analog, not digital. Let's see. It's 180 bucks for one transmitter and about 205 bucks for two transmitters. And then... The model number down here is what changes based on that. Shipping weight 55 pounds, even though in the owner's manuals they tell you the assembled machine weighs about 60 pounds. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if that's a 70, 70 or 75 pound operator fully assembled. And then on to the um, lower end stuff. Now, you would think that was a six five two thousand. However, it's not. These are the these are the green Sears models from here. Also, notice this has the center I beam rail piece. The uh, four thousand did too, but they didn't take the picture and show that. But six five two thousand one, six five twenty one zero one, and six five twenty four hundred are the green Sears models. Unlike the later six five three thousand, six five thirty one hundred. Oh, and just for reference, the 3000 is third horse, the 3100 is quarter horsepower, but it's essentially the same machine. Because back then, certain areas had restrictions that you couldn't have more than a quarter horsepower. 
Uh, it was also kind of nice that they dated this book for 74. Actually, I think there's dates in throughout this book. Because they, they took their time assembling this. So they bought it in December of 73. And actually installed it in 74. 160 bucks. Let's see, could you get this with two transmitters or not? Yes, you can. And it was 185 for two transmitters. And that does use the same motor as this one. The only difference is significant differences. This is light, single light on the bottom. This was two lights on the front. Oh, and this one came with the key switch. The premium one did not. Moving down, sorry. Uh, you have the lower end models. These are quarter horsepower. Both of these. Now, these ha these are not um, the V belt reduced like the other two in here. If anybody remembers that blue electrolift I showed, they use that same motor. Both of these. See this one. Um, to some extent, re resembles the six five one five zero 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 that I showed. That quarter horsepower series. This is a single light on the bottom. Quarter horsepower. Oh yeah, receiver on the back. Transmitter. Doorbell button. If you want to read that, feel free to pause it and do so. Let's see, hold on. Uh, it doesn't actually say anything in here about extension kits to use on a taller door. So I'm assuming that the 68 Sears, right out of the box, it was usable on an 8 foot tall door. But like I said, if anybody remembers the blue electrolyte I showed, well, I already said, it uses, both of these models use that same goofy motor. So the electrolyte I have could be as new as 1974. And then the, the low end model is a semi-automatic opener where you have to hold either the remote or the wall button for the door to fully open or fully close. That's what they mean by semi-automatic. If you want to read that, feel free. Oh, it also does, um... It actually does tell you the color of the, um, case here. This is brown case. That is green case. There you go, green painted. And this one is gray even though more colors than that were offered because if anybody remembers the 654 300 that matt showed that would have been offered at the same time that this was even though it's not mentioned anywhere in here so like the 68 book this is somewhat more helpful for what they had but it doesn't give you everything that also makes me believe that, you know, some of the other colors are harder to find because majority of people would have just ordered what they saw in the catalog. And then I think on the next page here they did do doors. Yeah. Fiberglass, steel, and wood doors. Alright, 1981. Push these two out of the way. We start off with, once again, the Sears Best. This time it costs a little bit more money. It is a half horsepower. This is the fully featured opener. You can turn the lights on and off, lock out the remotes, and has the lighted push buttons. Uh, I showed a 139.664053, which is, it's the same thing as this, but mine was slightly newer. I think mine was dated for 82. Mine has the RPM sensor in it. This one does not. Uh, can't really make it out here on the book too well, but that was the force adjustment for the mechanical force. Uh, these openers are a little weird. They did a mid-cycle update where they added in the RPM sensors. And some of the accessories down here. Let's see, number four is the universal radio set. Number five is the replacement transmitter for uh, older models. 
No, actually not this old for late 70s models. Though I imagine you could still get the transmitters for the analog ones. It's funny how it only specifies in here, it only mentions for a frequency S or Y. So that must have been the most common um, radio set sent out with the older machines. Anybody questioning this, the S indicated that it was on 340 megahertz, the Y indicated that it was on 390 megahertz. No, universal remotes are in no way compatible with any of the older stuff from the 70s. No way. And over to the premium stuff. This would be like the 663902 that I showed. And 663901, 663900, I think. And then there's other updated versions of this exact same machine with the RPM sensor in it, effectively being the only difference. Uh, I have one of each. I, well, I got a 663902 and then I have one with the um, RPM sensor in it. Both of them are new in the box. I also have this one new in the box. Go figure. Uh, further down the line, there's the two screwdriver openers. This is this the top one Wood grain is the 663800, and this is the uh, the copper colored one. Essentially, the same copper colored one that I showed. Mine was just slightly newer. Oh. Um, and then all the way down here at the bottom is the quarter horsepower Sears that I showed three or so years, three or four years ago when I was up in Nick's. Um, I don't have one of these, but I kind of like to find one. Quarter horsepower. And this is when they told you you could use it on an 18 by 7 and a half foot tall door. Yeah. Now, if anybody wants to um, pause any of this stuff and read, go ahead. And I can't really help that the owners, that the um, catalog is doing what it's doing, but. The, uh, the code, the different code settings that you're seeing is actually based on how the transmitter was set up. You know, on anything with this style transmitter, there's a set of nine three position dip switches in it, giving you 19,683 19, codes. This video sucks and I apologize, might suck and I apologize for that. The 3,375 codes there's only nine binary switches in there. Nine two position dip switches. And then the single code remotes, they're not actually dip switches at all. They're the um they're the clip wire coding. If anybody remembers some of the genie stuff that has been shown that has the punch out dip switches, this is essentially the same thing. Once it's set once the code is set, it's set. You can't change it. That's what that means by one code. Personally, I've never ran across one of these receivers and transmitters that only have the, um, the clip wire coating, but I've read about it. Huh, the doors aren't on that page. I wonder if doors were in a different part of this catalog. It's been a while since I looked through it. Oh no, they were page previous. And they had more designs for doors. More options in the, at this time. And then the very last catalog I have is 92. The last year that Sears catalogs were produced was 1993. Now, being 92, this was the last year before sensors were required. And then this page here is more of just the accessories. And then just the single page of openers once again. Again with the Sears Best. That's a four-wire console for the light and lock. Came with two five three seven seven eights. And then you got the half horse one, which I have one from 91 that I pulled out. And I have one from 92 that I got new in the box that I used in the shed for a few months before, well, I accumulated a bunch more machines. And then the basic third horsepower. And they actually give you a chart here for the comparison and you know, everything else. Funny how they only mention over 19,000 codes when in fact it's 19,683 codes. 
Same as the, um, you know, same as these ones. They use the same dip switch block and blocks in these remotes. And there's the, uh, the keypad. I think there's, there are extension kits here. Yes, there are. There are extension kits for 8 foot and 10 foot tall doors. Actually, I don't remember. Oh, there is extension kit in the, um, 81 catalog, but it's only for 8 foot tall doors. Guess if you had a, uh, taller door through this time period, you had to go buy a, um, like a LiftMaster or something, or an overhead door. D was the universal radio kit. That should have had the um, the gray learn button in it, as do the rest of these for programming dip switches. No, you cannot program billion code to it. Even though the keypad they offered was technically a billion code keypad. Before um, billion code came out. So, there's the old... Sears, so there's the um, stuff that was offered from Sears through, you know, a few years. Very, a few years from various decades. And then some uh, additional information in regards to the green stuff. The green case machines. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And, you know, if anybody has any more information than this, I'd certainly like to know about it. Thanks for watching.